Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to show you a really fun and free way to have a little bit more precise control over your layers, especially when you're dodging burning. Now, I'm going to call this um, for what it is. It's called a layer carousel. And we also have another free script called layer visibility. And the, I guess the most important part about this is, for example, let's say that you're dodging and burning. Okay, I have this image here shot by Jad Ward. And um, I did some dodge and burn work up here. You can see if I turn this on and off, you'll see some of the dodge and burn work that I did to even out the skin. And I really like working on this image. But one of the things that I find with dodge and burn is I always have to click on this one when I'm dodging and I do some work. And then I click on that one when I'm burning and I do some work. And so it uh, can be really uh, tiring. You can also obviously use option and bracket on your keyboard which will go up and down between the layer stack and go through them. However, I want to show you something I think which is even more uh, simpler and another way to have control over, the, over your layers. And let's say that you, for example, would like to cycle between just dodge and burn. And uh, one way to do that is we have our script, which I'm going to be showing you after the demonstration how to install it. But basically, you'll find it under File Scripts and you can see it says layer carousel. I've also assigned a keyboard shortcut, which I will show you in a minute as well. But basically, um, once it's installed and you have a keyboard shortcut assigned, you can see it says command F. So what that means is if I have these two layers selected and I hit command F on my keyboard, it will register that these two layers are the ones that I would like to cycle through. So if I hit command F on my keyboard again and again, now, once it's registered, it will then just cycle through those two layers. The same can also be said for three layers. Let's say that I would like Photoshop to cycle between just these three layers. I can hit Command F again. Now, once it's registered, it will deselect and only select one layer. But if I hit Command F, now you can see it's actually cycling between those three layers. You can also go ahead and hit, um, instead of Shift, and selecting layers consecutively, you can also click on one layer, hold command, or I believe with control on a PC, and then select the specific layers you want, like these four. And then when I hit command F again, now, once I go through them, it actually cycles between those four specific layers. Even cooler is the second script that we have over here, which says layer visibility. You can actually use whatever command you like, but mine is set to command Y. So if I hit command Y, you'll see that it actually turns those four specific layers off. The best part about this is you have control over whatever you would like. Typically for me, it's only going to be dodge and burn because, you know, I want to dodge and then I want to burn and go back and forth in between the two. And if you do any dodge and burn work at all, you understand how important it is to have quick access between the two. This is very similar to almost having like a, a solid gray layer set to soft light and using X to swip, switch between white and black. And this script is really handy because of it. Um, and you can obviously select the layers that you like. And also, I'm going to go ahead and show you another quick tip is you can actually put Command F or whatever shortcut you like into your um, Wacom tablet. For those of you who dodge and burn with a Wacom tablet, let me just go to System Preferences real quick. And where you actually want to go, let me backtrack here, is to your Wacom tablet. And on a PC, you need to go to your preferences um, and find wherever your Wacom tablet is. If you don't have it, you need to install the driver. Very important. Now here, you'll notice that um, I have function selected. And you can obviously also add Photoshop specifically if you want to, in case you have your own set of shortcuts in here, but you want to click on function and then you click on express key. And then you want to select the button you want to use to toggle. Now I use my first button here on top. I'm using the Intuos Pro Small. And then on this drop down menu here, you want to click on uh, keyboard and keystroke. Now you can see it says Command F because I've already put it in there. I've written the name out by hand or I typed it out and I said, OK, and that's it. And I can also do the same thing here if I want to. I can say keystroke. I can say 
Command Y by holding Command and Y simultaneously. And then I can just call this Command Y or whatever you would like to call it. And then that's it. Now I'm just clicking on the tablet itself and you can see that it's actually toggling between the two. Or if I click on the other button, it actually hides and turns it on for visibility's sake. And this is really cool because in case you have the dodge and burn folder that you don't want to turn on and off and you want a quick and easy way to just see your results for your dodge and burn, you don't have to actually access the, the layer panel anymore. You can actually just, once it's registered, you can see exactly what's happening. And this is so cool because you always usually want to see how your dodge and burn results look together to give you a good perspective of what the results are turning out like. And then you can easily just cycle between the two and access them really quickly and then just get down to work. So it's a really precise way of working. It's almost like looking at the layer stack in a magnifying glass and sectioning it off so that it doesn't interfere with um, any of the other layers. And for me personally, I like doing it because I know that I'm not actually selecting something else beyond those two layers. And that's something I think is really powerful. So I hope that helped to give you a really good idea what these scripts are like. If you like free access to them, look at the description for all the notes on how to get it. Anyways, hope you're having a good day. Stick around and our next portion is how to install the scripts once you've downloaded them. Now, the best part is that this is actually really, really simple to install. And once you install it, I'm also going to show you how to assign a keyboard shortcut to the scripts. So you can use it kind of just the way that I did it. Firstly, once you download um, the layer toggle zip file, it says infinite tools dash layer toggle dot zip, you're going to open the zip file. And then you will see the same folder here. And inside the folder, you will see layer carousel and layer visibility. What you want to do with these two is just keep them for a second. Now let's go to firstly applications. And then you want to click on Photoshop 2021 or whatever version of Photoshop that you are using. Go to presets and then scripts. Then simply you need to just drag these two here into this area. I'm not going to do it because I've already have it installed. But once you do that, that's it. You'll see over here it says layer uh, carousel and toggle visibility is also there too. So that's really it. Once that's done, you have them installed. And then you want to go to Photoshop. Just make sure that you restart it just in case. And you will see it under file, scripts, and the items listed here. You won't see them with a keyboard shortcut automatically. You're going to have to assign them. Um, but if you do click on them, like let's say you just clicked on this, um, it will work. But you first need to obviously select the two layers, go to file, scripts, and then click on it. So you can see it actually registers it. But obviously, you don't want to keep on going to file scripts and clicking on the name every single time you're trying to toggle or register something. So we have keyboard shortcuts for that. So it's actually really simple. You're going to go to edit. And then you're going to go to um, keyboard shortcuts. And the first important place to change is it says shortcuts for and uh, make sure it says application menus. Then you simply want to go to file and similar, you are going to find scripts and you're going to just scroll down um, really slowly because it's actually easy to miss. I actually missed it uh, first time because I was scrolling really fast, but you'll see it says scripts. Okay. Um, you can see how far I kind of scrolled down here in my window. So you want to match that similarly. And then when you click on scripts, you will see it says layer visibility. And here I have it set to command F. Um, what you will notice is that if you have it set to like something else like this, you'll say command G is in use or something like that. Um, I just hit accept. However, please keep in mind that uh, the reason why it's popping up with this message is because command G is you already used for something else. Obviously, I used command F, but the uh, the error message was the same. It said command F is used for like discovery or, or finding something. Um, but I just hit accept. And that was it. Same thing for command Y. If it gives you an error message and um, you don't really use whatever it's telling you to, then you can just hit accept and that's fine. In case you mess up something, um, you know, you could just re go back and, and delete this or use defaults for pretty much anything you'd like to do. 
or you just click on Photoshop defaults and it goes back to whatever you had there. So don't worry about messing things up. It's easy to do and undo. So once that's done, I just hit OK and that's it. Then I can select all my layers that I want to run through. Hit Command F, as you saw, which is what my keyboard was, and then just cycle through them. Um, you do have to assign a keyboard shortcut. Otherwise, you have to manually select that every time. And that's not fun. And it kind of beats the purpose of this script. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and you can use this for your work. It's tremendously valuable for people who would like to have more control over the layers. And that's it. Hope you have a good day. Please check out the description for all of our groups and uh, ways to get involved and featured in our community.